My name is Stephen Duncan, and this poem is called Presumption. The day I was delivered, the doctor found an infection boiling through my shrunken lungs. It ravaged my fragile frame, scorched my skin, marked me red as my mother's blood, marked me for its own. Some people die by fire. I was born at the stake. For ten days I incubated, a nestling trapped in the carnage of tangled tubing and wire, a crude sort of nursery for faulty fledglings that will never fly, a plastic box for babies waiting to die. Against the odds, they hatched me from a hope. I didn't wait nine months for nothing. Growing up, I learned that life is easy if you just follow the rules. Speak your mind, but hold your tongue. Save your money, don't be cheap. Be smart, but pretend you don't think you are. Express your feelings, will you stop looking sad? Tell the truth, keep that to yourself. Stand out, blend in, be curious. Whoa, not too many questions, though. That would be presumptuous. This icy advice washed through my mind, rattling like a cocktail shaker into a brain still far too young to drink presumptuous. Just then, I felt the plastic press up against my heart again. My mother always loved opals. She said it's because they can never decide what color they really are. And so all at once, their shimmering white and glimmering gold and pink and green and blue. Have you ever seen such beautiful indecision? When the world sees too, seems too much of any one color, my mother lends me her opal eyes and I see true. There are times when I wonder who decided we must color inside the lines when the wall makes such a beautiful canvas. From birth, I was bred to behave, be polite manners, lower your voice, my first words were an apology. They said to aspire is arrogance. You can't assume the world will bend when you push it. We seed our children with low expectations so they won't ever be disappointed. Our cynicism is an injection. We vaccinate against rejection, inoculate for pain, but only end up immune to dreaming bigger. Hospital incubators are not safe places. They are cages, and I've done my time. IV dripping, veins filling with be more realistic Ventilator pumping, polite, polite, it's not bad to be polite. But do we sacrifice too much to protect what is only an image? If the image is our own, is that not a form of worship? It hurts people's eyes to shine when they've been kept in the dark. The world needs an opalescent spark. Think me presumptuous. Lay it on me like a winter coat. It's just another layer. But do not tell me to stay put. I was born with fire in my lungs. Don't think I've forgotten. <laughs>